Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and bake back today. Yes, sir. We are on Diamond Dynasty on the PS5. I am loving this freaking game. When the servers are working, which has been a little buggy this past week, that it's come out. Um, I think it's even been a couple more days, more than a week. But I've been playing the crap out of this. Like, this game's been on for, like, what? Again, maybe, like, 10, 15, maybe, like, 11 days. I don't even know. I've played probably, like, nine days worth. I have played this game nonstop. I've been loving it. So I'm going to show you guys my team. I am no money spent, but I'm not really doing a series because I just feel like it's easy. Like, they just give you stubs. Like, I don't know. Like, there's no real... Like, they give you packs and stubs. Like, they literally just throw them at you, bro. They really do. Like, uh, so I'm not really doing a no money spent series. And who knows? Maybe one day I want to open up some packs and I spend some money. But this is no money spent. I have yet to buy any. Um, like, we come over to uh, my PlayStation right here. And we go to this. We go to, like, my transaction history, bro. Like, you can set this back to, like, here, probably. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't bought anything, any stubs. Yeah, we just bought the game, the Jackie Robinson, bro, and some Call of Duty points. We, we've been all free to play with this game, man. We have not bought any stubs. Um, and I had up to half a million stubs, bro. They just give you so much. I grinded out all the XP. I played the CPU for, like, three days straight. <laughs> Wait, like a couple days after the game came out, man. I played it for fun for a little bit, and then I was like, okay, let's get to grinding, bro. We started just playing against the CPU. That's the best way to get an XP, man, is just to play the freaking game, which I love. Um, you just get XP for playing and doing stuff in game, uh, playing well. So I did bang out the, uh, what's it called, the entire first inning program. We have 650,000, bro. I was flying through this stuff, man. Uh, they give you a ton. They give you a diamond pack. I sold that for like 50000 It was Lindor. Who else did I get? I, I got Kenley Jansen in this, so I didn't get the good ones. But I still sold him for like 18000 He probably goes for like, what now? Probably like, uh, I think he goes for 15 k So he's still been going for pretty well. But I sold that. I sold all the diamond gear. All this stuff. They give you, look at this, 5000 stuff for just getting this. 5000 for getting this. Again, those are players as well. Free packs. I have pulled a couple of diamonds. I logged into the game one day, and they was like, here, shake a bag, have 50,000 stubs in Juan Soto, damn near. Uh, I'm not joking. Like, like, one night I was literally just checking to see if the servers were working. They weren't working that day that much. I think the game had just came out for Xbox that night or something, and Juan Soto was literally just sitting there. Like, I, I can't explain that. I can't say if that's a YouTuber luck type thing. I don't know, but I'll take my little uh, SDS stimmy package right there. My goodness. We sold this boss for 150000 I think, man. It was crazy. I don't know. I think they're probably going for a lot less now. A lot, of people, a lot of more people probably got them yet. But, what, 90000 a couple days ago, it looks like. So, uh, but these are still going for a pretty good amount. That's a lot of stubs for... I mean, all, all this stuff. I sold the bats, the socks, everything, man. I've been selling stuff as we've been going, man. But uh, we completed the entire first inning. This ends in about a little over a week, too. I don't know if they're going to extend it because of the servers. They've been really bad. They're doing a double XP weekend that's gotten extended. At this point, I'll be making this. Uh, I just finished up all these dailies, bro. I, in the first take of this, I had to do the final moment, which uh, was just get a hit, bro. Like, like you just get a hit. And they gave me 3,000 stubs and 3 packs. Of course, I didn't pull nothing. I had a ball in pack that I just ripped. I didn't get any either. But uh, I have pulled a couple diamonds this year. It's not like I've gotten crazy lucky out of packs and, like, sold my trout. And that's how I got up to a half million stubs. Nope. I wish. But nope. <laughs> we flipped a bunch of stuff. Like, honestly, it's, it's just easy. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm not really doing it with no money spent. But I did just want to make this video just to show you guys my team, my collection, and what I've been doing. Just talk about the game because I, I, it's really fun, man. So I've been playing it a bunch. And I was like, oh, why haven't I made some videos in this? Probably should. But then at the same time, I was like, wait, I want to keep playing. I don't want to stop playing because right now recording this, I've stopped playing. And this is the second time I'm trying to record this because my computer has been giving me so many issues, bro. But here is my lineup, man. It's looking clean. All these 42 series players with the exception of one you can get for, or, or not one, there's actually like five or six of them, which is a pre-order ver version ones. You guys saw I got the Jackie Robinson version, so I didn't even get the most expensive version, which came with two of those. I wish I did, because they're going for like 40000 So, yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> you could sell them and make a good amount. And their price is going to come down, too. They'll, they'll give us uh, uh, free packs for those. They always do. Same thing happened last year, but, uh, but yeah, in this game, you can parallel cards, which is sick. It is so cool. You guys can see how many people have paralleled each card, too. You literally just play the games, and you earn XP. It shows you right there how many. 
uh, home runs, triples, all kinds of stuff, and you just get stats for it. And you can do it online or offline. Last year, you had to be online to get prestiges and all that. I didn't love that, but I still played like a thousand hours last year. Um, I've yet to play online. We're going to do that in the next video as long as the recording actually works and saves and I don't have problems with my computer. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to hop into rank um, in the next one because I do want to play that. I've only played it against CPU, which is fun, but I want to play against people online, man. That's going to be fun. So, um, yeah, you guys can see we paralleled this of Xander Bogarts all the way up to four so far, which is halfway to five. <laughs> so it's a long way. It's kind of like the 2K level XP stuff where you can get all the way to this level, but then the next level is like <laughs> as many as the half of them were. So, yeah, um, nobody has gotten this one yet so if i were to get this one i'd be the first one to get it but i'm probably not going to because it's, it's it takes a long time the hitters take a lot longer than the pitchers do i've noticed um it's just way easier to get strikeouts than it is to get home runs and all this stuff it's a lot faster for pitchers um but you guys can see the rest of my team stanton i've been hitting bombs with him and fran mel reyes we hit nukes oh my goodness in showdown with these guys that's honestly how you get all these uh these guys i just got this mini 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 minoso i can't say his name even though it's minoso it's not hard to say i can't say it but i just got him for free um again nice little card right here and again once you parallel up cards every time it's plus one to stats so from two there you go you get two three four and up to five and it's literally just plus five to everything you see here which is really cool it's simple it's nice and it makes sense uh salvador perez been loving this card too oh my goodness Rafael Devers, bro. He hits dingers for days. I love this card, man. I really do. Um, so I'm playing him at first right now. Tim Anderson and Boba Shep, bro. I love those two cards as well. And I even got some new guys. I just got Gallo, Goodrum, and we got this one for free. That was the dailies. Really nice, uh, really fast card. Pretty good defensively. Like, this is a nice card. Good contact hitter. I could definitely put him in my lineup, but for now, I think I, I'll use Xander Bogart too. I'm a Sox fan. I'm a little biased here, but we finished conquest we got this pool holes as well i haven't hit well with them when i do i'll probably sub in for rafi but uh that's what my lineup looks like and then my pitching rotation we have a couple of super fractors that's what this fifth parallel is i got the 49th i was trying to get number 42 and then i think 45 is, is pedro's number i tried to get both those servers was was bugging like i literally had this at like 39 or 40 and like, i like I'm, I'm gonna get 42 and then the servers was down like all night so i was like i'm going to bed man I'm not sitting up just to get a virtual number on a card. <laughs> it does look cool, but yeah. But, but at the same time, I have one of ones that I grinded for to get a virtual number on a card. I am the only one with a one of one Nathan Avaldi. Um, <laughs> yeah, some people have gotten it to four, and I, I'm the only one with one. Number one. So that number one, the first one, will always be there. Even if there's 200,000 Avaldis at, at per Super Fractor Parallel which is really cool. So it's always going to be number one. He was number one. And I also was number one on Garrett Woodluck, who I love. And I've bought a ton of him. I, I honestly made you a separate video on just this guy alone. This guy is one of my favorite players, man. Um, so yeah, uh, but my bullpen's looking nice. Got a bunch of gold players. Got a couple pitchers. I got to get some more pitchers. The 42 ones are going to be the ones I'm going to go get. So we'll replace Kluber and uh, I kind of like Otani, but he's gonna get i think he's gonna get boosted up too he's only pitched twice this year but he's been lights out and he got like hurt in the one game but he's also been hitting some bombs at the plate bro he's been playing uh, pretty well this year so he's probably gonna get a boost i did buy one of him for like a thousand five fifteen hundred stuff i don't even know um not an investment but i have invested in some stuff i again i had up to half a million stubs i had 500k at one point we're down to 150 because i keep buying cards i can't stop i'm investing in players who i think are going to go up when the roster update comes i think we're getting one on maybe friday and you'll see it right here and you'll see players go up players gonna go down some players are gonna go gold some are going to go diamond probably and when that happens you can make a lot of stuffs <laughs> i've seen guys in past years make tons i honestly haven't invested in past years but i have this year um where's the schedule it's still double xp weekend but okay so the schedule hasn't updated yet but it should probably on the 27th which maybe is the day i'm up with this i don't know and we'll see if probably there's a roster update this friday i think there's one this friday or next i don't know but i haven't been investing i literally have a couple hundred thousand stubs in some players uh, i guess i'll show you those right now even though it's gonna sway things because some people are gonna see that i've invested and they're gonna just do that like, I, I, I invested in that Garrett Whitlock guy 
I tweet about it. I didn't even say like, oh my god, I bought 900 of these. I just was like jokingly like, oh, I, I got a, a duplicate for Red Sox. And like I had it in the corner and some people noticed it, some people didn't. And I, I ended up posting on like the Reddit. And his price is like quadrupled since then. I don't know if it's because of me. He's been playing well, but his price quadrupled since then. So now that I show you that I have 150 Xander Bogarts, I don't know if his price is just going to go up a bunch, uh, but I've been investing in buying a bunch of him, like 2,000-ish, a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, but I was buying a ton of him, bro. I bought him at like 2,300, 2,400. Uh, probably spent, I mean, there's 150 of him, so I probably spent 300,000 on Xander Bogarts. But with, this is with the opportunity, if he goes diamond, he's hitting like 380 right now and has been feasting. I don't know how he wouldn't go diamond if he's hitting almost 400. And he's got he's hitting some home runs the past week he's hitting three home runs um he's been racking up rbis lately bro he's been good defensively i don't know how this guy wouldn't go diamond i don't know how he's so cheap right now he's only 2700 bro he's gonna be 5k when he goes diamond because you can just quick sell diamonds for 5k or you can uh quick sell golds for a thousand so that's why i've been buying just even these for a thousand right now 1080 you can get you one i've been buying these at a thousand right there yeah because I think they can only go up. <laughs> and if they don't go up, I can just quick sell them and get my thousand back. So I'm 50,000 in Rafi Devers, 65 in Verdugos. And again, if they go on a hot streak and go diamond, that's five times the amount I, I paid for it. Or I can just quick sell it if, if they don't. Uh, again, I also have Avaldi's. I bought a bunch of him. I like the way he's playing, bro. Honestly, I probably should have bought some uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. He's like 4 and all this year so far. Uh, you still could look at 77 see see that person is doing what i'm doing um except i only have like 10 e rods which probably is a mistake i probably should have more not financial advice <laughs> but uh yeah these of all these i bought these at like 120 110 ish right where he's at now if he ever goes gold that's 350,000. 350,000 that i can make in quick sales um so yeah i've been buying a bunch of him and a bunch of i know i know once I make this video people are gonna go buy these cars and their values are gonna go up uh, like even again i just posted a screenshot of this on twitter i bought 999 of these i did not buy them for 100 or 200 stubs bro i bought them for like 18 to 20 i think i bought like maybe 100 at 50 because he was playing really well on friday night and i was like i need more of these i need to get these now <laughs> but um if he gets boosted up again if he goes to silver I can make 99000 which I did not even spend to get all of these. So I'd get a profit there. He's going to go at least to silver, I would assume. He's been playing really well this year. Uh, again, one of my favorite players is rookie. We got him for the Yankees. Like, trade him for him somehow. They didn't protect him. I don't know how the heck it worked. But this dude's been lights out. He, he retired 25 in a row, 25 batters in a row, through like nine innings of relief work. And he hasn't given him a run all year. And probably, I'll probably jinx it now. He will. But I've been investing in these guys and a bunch of other Red Sox players just because I watch them and I can kind of know who's doing well for them, you know? So I, I don't know. I think it's best to invest in teams that you know and you watch. Because then, look, if any of these gold players start playing really poorly and, like, I, I think they might drop the silver, I can quick sell them for the thousand, you know? And if I bought these for a thousand, I don't lose anything. I lose literally nothing. So. Or I can flip them and sell them in the market for 1200 and make, you know, 200, 300 stubs maybe <laughs> each. Probably 200 stubs each. A little less after tax, but so you're not making much. But that's how you can make uh, uh, freaking stubs in this, man. You can just buy things and literally flip it. This one, if you can get them for 8 and then sell them for 30, hey, that's a couple stubs. Um, so I've done a whole bunch of that, just flipping things. And yeah, again, I literally logged in one day and they were like, here's a Juan Soto. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not questioning it, but yeah, I've been playing a ton of single player moments showdowns conquest all this good stuff i literally just played the cpu for days like literally days because i knew if i unlocked all this stuff and did it faster than other people and grinded more than they could i'd make a ton of stubs and we did i, I had 500 000. i've invested it and again if some of those investments pay off even if one of them is i'm gonna be sitting on like a million stubs so yeah that's gonna be crazy and i think i think uh I think Xander Bogart's going to go diamond. I mean, he's hitting almost 400. <laughs> if, that, if that don't get you to go diamond, he, like the announcers say, he's one of the best players in baseball on the broadcast and all that stuff. How is he not diamond? I don't understand that. He's, he's so good. Um, and I think he's been diamond before in games, but he's been gold. I don't know. He kind of flirts between those. I'm, I'm banking on him going diamond. And if he doesn't, hey, man, it is what it is. <laughs> we got a lot of Xander Bogarts. I don't really care. I, I think it's fun, too. I've been watching more of the Red Sox games, like, paying attention to more stuff so i've invested in those guys 
Um, haven't done any collections. Again, I, I did get the mini, but that's like, these are all free players besides um, the pre-order ones, which I wish I had gotten the deluxe version because then I'd have two of these. Like, look at these guys They're going for 40000 I would have sold. I, I probably should sell Pedro, but he's like my best pitcher, and I, and I leveled him all the way up. So if I sell him, I'm going to be kind of crap out of luck um, until they, he gets cheaper, which I think probably could be tomorrow. Uh, there's a new Conquest map coming out tomorrow. Conquest map could have a free pack for one of the 42 guys on it. It could be next week. It, at some point, they're going to get cheaper. They always give away the free, uh, those free pre-order cards. Like, they give them away. Again, because if you collect them all, you can get this 99 Jackie Robinson, but you have to have all of them. So, those cards are going to get cheaper eventually, and they know that. Uh, so, definitely want to get this card, and I will be grinding for it. Again, we just got mini. The way you grind out these, honestly, it's really not that bad. It's a lot better than it was last year. Last year, it was pretty hard. I've already got more probably done than I did all. I didn't have all of them done last year. Where are, where's Team Affinity, bro? You guys can see I have 100, 148, and then uh, nothing on the NL. But I've almost got the AL done for the first section. That didn't happen last year. I think eventually I got most of it done, but like the first one. But I didn't do like the second and the third. Now I'm going to be all caught up and we'll be able to do that. Um, but showdowns are a little bit easier this year. If you do a showdown, you get five vouchers and that's 15 points. So again, 10 showdowns completes the whole thing, but you don't need to do 10 showdowns per thing because there's missions where you can get these cards. You get them through the progress path. Like you literally get them from just getting the points and then you can play with them and you get four points or whatever. You can do the conquest. Like let's come over to the AL Central right here. So I did damn near a lot of these ones. Yeah, damn near all of them. Um, and got, again, plus four, plus four, plus four. If you do all those, it's like 20 or 30 points right there. You do all these, that's like another 15, 20 points. You do, what's it called? I'm pretty sure I did this, uh, I did that map. So why is it not uh, popping up? Oh, I did do that map. But it, it, it just doesn't show in there. But uh, you do that, you get 15 points. So <laughs> they just give you, they give you stuff for just playing the game. And again, there's all kinds of diamonds. Like, look at this stuff. Bro, look at these diamonds. These are all beasts. Absolutely insane players. They give you packs. They give you stubs. So, I really don't think it's necessary to do a nobody spent video or series on this. Even though, again, we are. And, but I, I I might buy stubs eventually, though. Because I do really enjoy Emily the show. I like uh, ripping packs on from time to time. I've just been ripping the free packs. I don't really think, like, the standard packs this year, bro... Even last year, they weren't that great, man. They've gotten worse every single year, I feel like. As the game gets more popular, they gave us a free diamond, too, to start. But, like, these packs, at, at, like, what are the odds on them? They're they're, they're terrible. Um, one in every 50, you could get a chance at a diamond. That goes for, like, 15,000 or so, maybe. But, yeah, those are not very good odds. These come in a balling pack. Yeah, it's just, eh, the pack odds are just not great on them. So, I don't really rip them unless they give them to me for free. I have gotten a diamond out of a balling is a habit pack which is pretty sweet i got the headliner it was 90 overall i sold for like thirty thousand. that was sweet and again i logged in and got one soda besides that i haven't pulled any other diamonds <laughs> i've gotten as many login diamonds as i have in packs so yeah I, I just don't be ripping packs like that um i'll rip some free ones maybe we'll, we'll try and stash up a bunch and do it for a video where we talk some baseball and do that but that's mlb the show diamond dynasty i've been rambling i've been ranting i've been playing this a ton i have not played it online which i will do for the next video i think we'll play some ranked seasons i've yet to play a game um but if you do and you get to world series which I've, I don't think I've ever done i think the farthest i've gotten was like division or championship just because it does take a lot of games and sometimes it gets it gets sweatier as you go along um but i've gotten to six seven hundred before but i think maybe this year with xbox and people being allowed it's like there's a whole like half the platform probably is, is brand new to the series I might have a shot at actually making World Series, maybe. But even this year, you just have to get cumulative wins. They had a cumulative reward, so I don't even have to actually get to World Series. I just have to get 40 wins, which over about 20 days, like two a day, that's a lot. That's a lot. I might not get there, but who knows? But maybe we will. Maybe we try for that. I do kind of want this Prince Fielder. It is pretty sweet. This is, I think, the card I would pick. I don't know. if Do you get the pick, or do you, they just give you one? They might just give you one. I don't remember how it works. I, I've never got one of those packs. But I, I think maybe that's the 12-0 and 0 reward. Maybe they give you one. You don't get to pick. Um, I think that's those Battle Royale. Maybe we'll do some of this, too. I don't know. Battle Royale is tough. I don't usually do well with that. But I do usually do okay with ranked seasons the past few years. I usually have a pretty record. So we'll do that coming up. I got a Beastly team. Y'all have seen it. 
I like my guys. I've paralleled some. We've kind of gone through some of the stuff. You can flip to make stubs. It's really not that hard. Um, again, they just give you stubs for collecting things. Like earlier, I got some stadiums. I, I, I've gotten all the stadiums. I just collect them. They give you a thousand stubs. They just throw packs and stadiums at you. Conquest map, you just click on a, like a spot. And they're like, here, have a pack, have a pack, have a pack. So... Yeah, it's not really needed, but I'll give you guys some tips and things on the way. If you want me to do a video on showdowns, I usually do that every year. On just, uh, you know, some tips that I've been doing, because I have won a good amount. Also lost a bunch at 12-12. <laughs> so, that's that. Just wanted to make a video. I'm on the Diamond Dice. I've been literally obsessed playing this game so damn much that I haven't made videos because I've just been playing this freaking game because it's so fun, man. Servers have been frustrating. And then there's the Stadium Builder, which is incredible it is so cool oh my god it is the coolest thing i've seen in a sports video game in a long time man it takes 2k's little you know customize your stadium and punch it into the stratosphere it is, it is incredible it is so good um and it could it could get even better too like this is just the first iteration of it once they start updating it and stuff oh my god it is it is really sweet so um I'll make a whole separate video on that. That will be coming. I'll show you. I've built like four stadiums so far, and I think they look sick. You can look at other people's stadiums too. I think mine look a lot better than most, so I guess I've spent hours and hours on that too. But hey, man, um, that is uh, Diamond Dynasty. It'll be the show 21. More videos will be coming on this. I think I say that every year. I think this will probably be the year that I upload the most of it just because I've been playing it a ton, so I should record it. I do want to play online a bit more this year because it's usually fun when I do and usually some crazy games, crazy things happen. So, yeah, I hope you guys want to see that. If not, A, hey, it's all good. There's other videos that you can watch um, and other stuff will be coming. Still going to be posting some my team and stuff like that too. But, yeah, just wanted to uh, post some of this because I've been playing it a ton. So, there will be videos. I'll do some tips. I'll do a whole bunch of stuff. But for now, that's it. Just been playing the game a bunch, man. I've played so many hours against the CPU. <laughs> But I think it's been worth it. It's been fun. And um, it should be fun using my team, which is pretty sweet. And again, I haven't spent any money, which I love. I love when you can build a nice team and not spend money. That's why I love Diamond Dynasty. You can do this every year, too. It's gotten better and better every year, I feel like. This year, they took away the XP pad last year. That was pretty sweet. But then if we have the inning XP, it's even better, it feels like. I think I made more subs just by getting, you know, the stuff for the first inning this one. I did, like, all last year. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to do no money spent videos, bro. We're just, we're just going to play the game. I'll open some packs every now and then. Again, probably do it for free um, just by playing the game. But, um, yeah, that's that. Hope you guys did enjoy. I hope my camera actually saved this so I don't have to record this video for a third time. And I can record another couple videos and hop online. That's the kind of plan and goal here. But that's it. Shake and make. I'm out. Just let me know if you have any questions about Diamond Dice. If you're new. If you're an Xbox noob. Whatever. Um, and I, I got y'all. But that's, that's that. Diamond Dynasty. I'm playing it a ton. This video is rambling. Goodbye!